Work-life balance is extremely personal. Yep. It's different for me than it is for Joseph, than it is Far for different. every person in this so office. So name some of the things that are different, so, so people get the idea, right? Yeah. So for so, just me and you, let's so, talk me yeah. and you. So I've got uh, almost six month old. Right. I've got four. I have four, what, 13, a 12, 11, and nine yeah. year old, yeah. right? Um, I'm way younger. Um, what? <laughs> And I'm way better looking, so it's a hard, it's a hard. <laughs> I was like, you know, what, what can we do to break people out of this comfort zone of feeling like they need balance? And like immediately his response. My resistance to balance is that it creates a, a false sense of equity, that everything is supposed to be the same, mm -hmm. everything's supposed to be equal. Mm -hmm. If you understand balance as an asymmetrical symmetry, that the proper balance is the sun is bigger than the earth. Sure. If the, if the proper balance is that the solar system only works properly, when these planets are in alignment and the gravitational pull of each one causes the Earth to be exactly where it's supposed to be, then you might have a different perspective on balance. Sure. And it's the same way with our lives, is that if you try to do everything the same, you'll do nothing well. You, you have to find what part of your life is supposed to have the gravitational pull. Hmm. But what I do know is that the work-life work -life balance, as you're spending more time on one area, one area is going to suffer, without a doubt. But the reason I don't like it is because the only conversations people ever have about work-life balance is an excuse to work less. Uh, you never hear somebody say like, man, fourth quarter of eight, 2018, I crushed it at home. <laughs> best father, best husband. You know, coming on this first quarter, uh, you know, it's January, I'm, I'm really gonna not be home as much and I'm really trying to focus on the office. Like, that's, that conversation does not exist. It's always, man, I really need to work on my work-life balance. I'm gonna start leaving the office at four so I can get home soon. Like, it's always that. It's always this crutch. There's a reason why I need to work less. And what people don't, for whatever reason, think of is the fact that you can balance a scale two ways. Yeah, you can take away from one side and it'll balance, but you can also just add to the other. And so when you look at, the way I like to look at it now is just look at like, am I thriving in all the different areas? And so that may mean like, I don't need to work less if I need to spend more time with my family. I may need to sleep less. I may need to like hang out with friends less. I need to go less happy hours. I need to go to less, you know, extracurricular activities, anything that's going on outside of work and family. Maybe I need to do those things less, but I think people use that as this crutch or this excuse. Yeah. The opposite of life is far, 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 far greater than just not work. That's an interesting perspective we can talk on. Work-life balance. Life is way more than just not work. <laughs> there is so many other facets to life that if you're splitting down your life into just life and work, it's ridiculous. It's all your life. There are all these things that are encompassed in, in both of those. So it's not just work and non-work, right? 